Hello friends, Stuff from CorkHeavy.com here for City Magazine. In the March 2019 issue, I provided some great recipes, perfect for St. Patrick's Day celebrating and cooking with beer. And we're using Ireland's number one beer here. Today we're doing this first uh, recipe, which is the Guinness Beer Bread. And look, I just happen to have an extra Guinness here, so we are going to pour that and let it settle while we make our bread. Four simple ingredients for this delicious, easy to make bread. Now, if you don't have self-rising flour, uh, and some people don't, right? You don't wanna keep more than one flour in the house. Add one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and one quarter a teaspoon of salt for every cup of flour. Now, if you're making your own self-rising flour, just sift that really well together, mix it all up, maybe put it through a sieve or a sifter, and there you go. All right, let's get to our bread quick and easy. So what we have, we have our three cups of flour. To that, we are going to mix in our brown sugar. Now, I'm doing this with the whisk here. You can see we really wanna get this nice and incorporated. You can do it with a spoon as well. What you're gonna find is if you don't get this mixed in enough, you're gonna have little pockets uh, here and there in your bread of brown sugar, which is not the worst surprise ever. So once again, we just wanna get it all nicely incorporated uh, into the flour, the sugar and the flour together. All right, so we've done a pretty good job of that. So we're gonna make a little hole here. We're gonna add our quarter cup of melted butter and start mixing that around a little bit. And then to that, we are going to add our can of Guinness beer. And in the meantime, my beer has settled. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of this. Mm. Now, a lot of times we think of Guinness being a stout and being very heavy. It's really not. It's a lower alcohol beer, under 5%. Uh, if you get it fresh on draft, obviously it tastes a little better and fresher, a little easier. These uh, cans with the little nitrogen balls actually work well. You saw me pop that beer and just turn it straight upside down. That basically activates the uh, nitrogen ball and you saw the action, hopefully, uh, on that beer uh, while we were pouring it. All right, so you see what you're gonna get here. Instead of more of a bread looking batter, you're gonna get more of what looks like a cake batter. It gets fairly thick, fairly quickly. So what we're gonna do is uh, take the whisk out of here and actually do this with a spoon. Once again, no need to involve a mixer in this at all. You can do this all with a whisk or a uh, just a kitchen spoon. So it's gonna look really, you know, a little rough, a little coarse. Once again, it's gonna resemble cake batter more than bread dough. So now we're gonna take our typical loaf pan here and we're just going to pour the batter into the pan. And hopefully not off the side like I did right there. All right. And there we are. And let's grab a towel. Hey, if you do that, we have mistakes in the kitchen. Like Bob Ross says, uh, what is it? There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. That was a happy, easy enough to clean accident. So we're gonna take this to a 350 degree preheated oven and bake it for about 50 minutes. And our bread is out of the oven. All right, friends, I've plated our bread here. You see, it's still nice and piping hot. We can go ahead and cut it now. Uh, if you prefer, we can put a little, uh, brush a little melted butter over top of it. I mean, what's better than that? Well, I'll tell you what's a little bit better than that melted butter over this hot Guinness beer bread is the uh, Guinness beer cheese dip that I also gave a recipe for in this month's issue of City Magazine. Hey, stay tuned for uh, that video as well. In the meantime, let's go ahead and cut this open. So you're gonna get a nice little crust on top uh, and the sides by cooking this in a loaf pan. Once again, it's gonna come out more cakey uh, than bready, but look at that uh, delicious consistency in here. Once again, I'm not even going to plate it. I am just going to eat this whole. It's lighter than it looks. It tastes delicious. It pairs great with any of the beers I wrote about, and it obviously uh, pairs well with the Guinness with which we've been cooking. Mm. All right, friends, thanks for, uh, for joining for the video. Uh, for more video recipes, especially from March 2019, we also have a video for the beer cheese dip and the traditional Irish stew. Check those out on all of your social media channels. Until next time, thanks for joining. Be nice, be safe, and be happy. Cheers, friends.